I had an amazing 26 years with your mom, an amazing 26 years. Mauricio Umansky has officially purchased a condo. Hey everyone, it's Hannah Fletcher. Welcome back to Shared News. Let's talk all about Mauricio and what it is that we're finding out in terms of his status with Kyle Richards. Now, as you guys know, these two have been definitely separated for a minute now, and it looks like he has taken the next step that is officially possible in possibly a divorce. Now, according to Us Weekly, Mauricio has formally purchased a condo. Now, he didn't just purchase any condo, he purchased one in West Hollywood, and apparently Matt Damon is one of the A-list celebrities that's going to be residing in that building as a neighbor to Mauricio. And we know this because Matt Damon's condo is around $8.6 million. So no, Mauricio did not just go out and get any standard garden apartment. He made sure to hook himself up appropriately. Now, Kyle Richards is supposedly going to hold the fort down with the primary residence. As you guys know, that is where Kyle is going to obviously remain, understandably so, with all of the kids. And apparently Mauricio is anticipated and rather expected to visit often. Now, apparently he's going to be there, especially when Kyle is out of town. And keep in mind, you guys, the lifestyles that these people have, it's not like a standard, oh, maybe I'm going to travel once or twice or maybe even three times a year. They're probably never really home is my guess. And according to a source that kind of confirms what it is that is my prediction in terms of that. Apparently this shift in arrangement is pretty much closely mimicking what's been going on in their lives anyway. Now, as mentioned, a source did state, quote, they've both been traveling a lot recently, so it's working out where they don't stay under one roof. Now, keep in mind, there is still no formal filing of divorce at this point as of yet, but obviously it looks like other steps like this are being taken. So I personally am just giving you my own prediction here. I don't feel like these two are going to find that reconciliation point. I personally think that they're heading towards divorce, just judging by where this is all going. What I will say though, is obviously we can conclude that Kyle and Mauricio are on very civil, very nice terms with one another, because who's really going to let their potentially ex-husband just come into the premises pretty much whenever, as long as he has somebody to see or a reason to be there, especially if Kyle is out of town. So clearly these two are at least civil with one another, which is really great. And I don't know, you guys, I've been trying, I've been rooting for these two for so, so long. As we know that the reason for this split, it's not been completely disclosed, but we have had hints and tidbits teased over the course of the past months. We heard Kyle during the reunion for season 13 for The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. She did state, quote, there were things that happened that made me lose my trust and I wasn't able to recover from. So though it does seem like Kyle is the one who pulled the trigger on the idea of these two getting the separation, potentially working towards divorce, it does seem that Mauricio is the one with the condo. Let me know all of your thoughts down below in the comment section. Do you think that these two are are indefinitely heading towards divorce? Do you think that this is a nice, healthy next step? Honestly, that's kind of where I'm at personally. I think that we've been holding on to hope for far too long. And I think that at this point, as long as they can maintain a friendship, especially for the sake of their kids. And also these two have been together for so, so long. I'm just glad to see that at this point, they're just able to be civil and moving on to the next necessary steps if they are still proceeding toward divorce. Let me know again, all of your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like this video if you haven't already. Hit the subscribe button and turn your notifications on. That way you don't miss out on any of our future videos. As always, I'm your host, Hannah Fletcher. You guys can follow me on social media. My handle's right there on the screen. So come on over and say hello, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.